If you're planning to go to the Baguio City or the summer capital of the Philippines, then here's my top eight destinations that you should visit when you are in Baguio. Baguio City is a city that on top of the mountains. It's a 1,600 meters above sea, above sea level and it nestled in the mountain and it, it is very, it's known for its mild coldness and got the name Summer of the Capital of the Philippines. If you're from Manila, it will take at least four to seven hours bus ride going to Baguio City. Okay, there are multiple buses companies that operated in this um, direction. I highly suggest that you will go to Victory Victory Liner. It's either in Cubao, Quezon City, and the Pasay City. They have you can do you can have two options. If you want a really a non-stop um, bus ride, I highly suggest that you buy the the first class. Um, I'm going to put the schedules on the screen later, okay? And then also you can have the the just the regular buses, you know. But they have these two two stops, okay? So and of course it will cost you less. And really, I highly suggest that you will you take the night bus so that when you arrive in Baguio City, you straight away go to the famous. Um, vantage point where you can see the overall looking of the mountains during sunrise. I really love Baguio City because you know just imagine a full year of um, coldness even the, the sun are shining bright and one thing also I am impressed with their taxis because I've been when, it, when I was in Baguio I went um, used different kind of taxis one thing about them is they are really very very honest and I was so impressed because unlike in other places like in my hometown in Cebu and especially in, in Manila as well, oh the taxis are sometimes they will rip you off and it's really not that you know impressive but in Baguio wow I'm very impressed that is I, to I told my friends that you know the taxi there are very very honest okay here's my top eight destinations when you are in Baguio Let's start with number eight, Mines View Park. Yes. So assuming that you arrive, uh, use, assuming that you you took the night bus and you arrive maybe around four o'clock, I highly suggest that you ask the taxi drivers. You can find a lot of taxi drivers that you will that ask them to send you to Mines View Park to witness the beautiful sunrise. You know they, they have this vantage point where you can just sit there and take a photos and waiting for the sunrise to to up and then really the beautiful mountains the green sceneries together with the golden sunrise it's so amazing it's so beautiful it's so breathtaking really and I so i so love it i you know i just sit there for almost two hours enjoying the view live in the present moment so make sure you visit that one when you are in Baguio. number seven Baguio Cathedral or Our Lady of Atonement Cathedral. Yes, this one is one of the it's one of the biggest um, church in Baguio and in one of the most photographed landmark in Baguio. And this one is very famous for its very um, beautiful facade of the church and its unique twin spiral tower. 
so make sure you put that one in your list every time when you are going to visit Baguio number six Burnham Park yes so you know what as you stroll it as you browsing the internet every time you're going to see the Burnham Park you exactly know that it's in Baguio City right so yes Burnham Park is a synonym synonymous for Baguio and they have this one is like um, you have so many activities especially in the morning you know just like they have this street dancing the Zumbas some are boat riding cycling and many many more so make sure that you visit that one and put in your bucket list number five botanical garden yes majority of us we are living in a re really in a very chaotic world right and sometimes in order for us to have a break we should go to a certain place that it's a certain place that it's very quiet okay so the ideal place is the Baguio Botanical Garden this is it's it's so green so many flowers and really if you want to relax right if you want to to not to, to distress and spend time with nature and in a very quiet place then you should visit considering visiting the Baguio Botanical Garden number four Our Lady of Lourdes Grotto yes one of the top attractions when you are in Baguio and it consists of 252 steps towards to the top in the heat towards the top to the hill okay if you have the stamina to go climb and you should probably climb towards the top because I tell you the view the beauty from the top overlooking the entire um, part of the town is quite amazing so you should consider to put that one in your list when you visit Baguio number three right part yes so if you like horseback riding and um, you also like to spend with nature's right so the right park is one of the one of the scenic place that you should visit they have this pool of pines and a circle of pines it's so uh, it's so nice to you know to to visit around the area and I highly suggest that you also try their strawberry tofu or lo local dialect tahu strawberry tahu it's really very nice I actually miss that I miss that um, food so you, sh you should don't forget to try that one and visit the right part number two the mansion yes mansion is one of one of the office of the president so every time they are going to the Baguio city and also it's an elegant design Spanish colonial time architecture and also it's one of the like one of his landmark in or like one of the landmark to have uh, meetings you know and important meetings and really the the front gate it's so it's very nice so you can take photos when you're going inside you can take photos and the overlook oh, and the background is the mansion so make sure you put that one in your bucket list last but not the least diplomat hotel yes so diplomat hotel is an abandoned structure in top of the hill i think in dominican hill yeah and also it is rumors to a, a haunted you have a lot of sightings and horror stories so one of the local TVs featured that um, hotel it have a creepy vibes you know you know like an abandoned horror in a horror movie build kind buildings sort of thing but when you reach under the second floor there's this huge um, cross and together with the scenic view panoramic view of the Baguio city so make sure you also visit that one and guys here's the bonus John Hay Camp and Strawberry Farm yes these are one of the top destinations also when you are in Baguio unfortunately I was not able to go there due to time constraint but it only you know I, it's a reason for me to go back again in Baguio I will gladly go back again in Baguio 
so make sure you also visit that one so guys if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel and hit that notification bell button so that you get notified every time i'm going to upload a new video and also guys click this video here or this one here either this one or this one